We actually have Girgia for you today. I bet that's not something that you thought you would see. We have Light Sworn, Vanquish Soul. It's very interesting meta time. Make sure you guys smash the everything crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more OS content. So, uh, Girgia out here with a very strong machine backing to this? I don't know what to tell you. When I first initially saw this, I was like, this really top aided an event? And I mean, any, anything can have variance shift in its favor. I think it's one of the reasons why I, I like the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But, you know, looking at the things that you are trying to do out here with Gear Gear, um, in terms of, you know, your extensions, I feel like your best board just kind of gets you to what, like, Utopic Future Draco, and you're just kind of hoping for the best at the end of the day? Uh, it's not to say that, you know, something like Urgent Schedule wouldn't be a good option to kind of help you out here, but... You've really got to think about the extension capabilities I, I think that this deck kind of attempts to do. So I, I guess, I don't know, I I want to, let's let's draw some hands here and see. Okay, so we did open up the auger. We did get the MK2 for the extension, if need be. I just wish this was easier to bring out. The upstart, and then of course we do have the gadget here. Uh, but this has to be on normal summon, so that's that's just kind of really disappointing. We did open up the bullet train here. Um, and of course, oh, we did see the urgent schedule and the auger. That's actually pretty good. You have the upstart goblin, and we do get into a regular. So that's not the worst thing in the world. We did open up gadgets, and we did open up the armored exceeds. I, I'm intrigued with the idea behind this. Uh, if we had better gear gear cards, I assume that you would be able to do a little bit more. But given what we have available to us, it, it just kind of leaves a little bit of a state. I guess to be desired. So if you want to try out some Gear Gear Turbo Express and you know try to get some results out here, this might be the way to go. Also, you know, full armored exceeds good stuff is always gonna be I, I think an incredibly good thing to kind of mess around with. Okay, next up here we have this 60 card light sworn thunder pile for you. Now I, I'm gonna tell you, um we're, we've been seeing a smaller amount of these Light Swarm pile decks than I kind of initially thought we would see. I, I honestly expected a lot more people just to kind of start shoving Light Swarm into places and start trying out these combo decks. But, you know, it's taken a little bit for them to kind of take off. Now, interesting little things that this build is doing. We do have the one of Light and Darkness Dragon in here. If you are able to see this and, you know, you kind of go through like a full turbo Light Swarm mill... Do remember that your own Light Sworn End Phase Mill Effects could technically trigger this, but there's nothing in here that should be doing that unless, you know, you leave the one Raiden on the field. That's always a funny little interaction. Um, of course, we are also dealing the Electromagnetic Turtle down here. I do love the Turtle a lot. The Turtle uh, getting a full skip -a on your opponent um, during the battle phase is actually broken. And this is also going to be your countermeasure for Tempai. Um, unless your opponent attempts to SP this out of the graver, but if they're doing that, well, you know, who really gives a crap? They're not attacking you directly that turn anyway. Um, outside of that, also having the one of Black Goat Laughs in here is actually kind of hilarious. This is one of those cards that you do see. It is incredibly good. Uh, I also see, hello, Thunder Dragon Colossus. Uh, since we are doing the Thunder Dragon package in here, we're not doing the Nemesis stuff, though, which I figured the Nemesis package would be something that you would want to test out a little bit more, in my opinion. Um, the Nemesis cards are incredibly strong when they need to be, but, you know, this build didn't need to really go down the route of those things, and that that's fine. Um, outside of that, though, incredibly interesting ideas in this deck. They're really showcasing, you know, some of the more strong ideas that I think this meta can actually showcase. And, ooh, we have a 60 card Vank, or excuse me, we have a 16th, our top 16 finish for Vanquish Soul, supporting off the Power Sink Stone. Now, we saw Melodious out here trying out Power Sink Stone as kind of a, we can put the counters on this card ourselves. And actually, this is kind of hilarious, actually, because, you know, you can just go ahead and trigger one of your many pieces during your opponent's turn. Now you got that first counter on the Power Sink Stone. Now your opponent's like, uh... 
you know, what, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this? Because the minute that second power sink stone goes on this, everything on the field goes into no mode, and that means that your opponent's just going to have an incredibly garbage time trying to play the game. And honestly. I like the idea behind this. We're actually getting the chance to take advantage of the actual good things that, in my personal opinion, this deck does, which is just slamming those crazy large number of effects during your opponent's turn. All right, so, you know, as you just go ahead and sneak a nice little draw or ping along the way, okay, that's actually incredibly dirty. Um, down here for other tech choices, we do see the one destructive Daruma, so you can go ahead and pull it off of the thrust. Very, very strong options. Uh, we still are doing the Zodiac package down here, which I do agree with. Having the Zoo package in this deck is an option to be able to, you know, Zeus board wipe your opponent and still leave some materials on it so that you can go ahead and do full Vanquish Soul combo heading on into the next turn. Um, is basically what you want to be doing. You want to be slamming down these incredibly strong resources to control your opponent and do your thing. Also, in fact, this deck actually gets access to this. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> Thank you for being a fire, Rosam. Thank you for being a fire, Geolong. Yep, that's uh, I, that's your Vanquish Soul innovations uh, as of late. It definitely is interesting to see, and I can't wait to see what else will happen here. Next up, we have some heroes for you today. This was the top 16 special out of its nationals. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, obviously, giant moon rock in the sky aside. Uh, with Nib not existing in the format, we've been seeing people kind of return back to the idea of testing out, you know, some different ideas. Um, I will say one of the interesting ideas here is we have Book of Eclipse in this deck. So Book of Eclipse ensures, you know, you can flip down a board, go ahead and, you know, do the full hero combo without being interrupted. Also, you know, huh, what if you have to flip down your own hero combo? Well, it gets everything into defense mode, so that, that's mission accomplished. Also, Plasma is still a good card. It does have some droplet issues in this current format, which is fine. And do please take note, the Dark Angel has been tucked into the side deck. As much as I, or as much as people want to see Dark Angel kind of return back to the main decks, you really cannot afford to have this card in the main deck just as a hindrance to you. And it's just, it's very unfortunate looking at the landscape of the current meta, because you're like, oh, you know, Dark Angel is such a good card. Yes, yes it is. Um, but... You know, your opponent commits any normal summon and out goes the Dark Angel. And Hero doesn't really have a way to stop them from doing that right now. So, I don't know, that's just kind of where I am right now in the course of this deck. I think it's still a good choice in the meta if you want to play something rope. But it leaves a little bit to be desired on the grand scheme of things for deck building. Uh, and of course, well, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see if there are some later innovations that'll come along in terms of the tech choice department and try to patch this deck up a little bit, but you're also playing 45 now, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, he heroes, as long as you don't lose to this card, remember that. This is the one thing that will ruin your entire day. Um, I really wish we could play D-Force again, but all right. What else we got back here? Ooh, we have Leo's top eight Indonesian finish out of the WCQ qualifier. Now, the reason why I chose to cover this in here was I just wanted to kind of show, like, how stupid this Fiend Smith combo stuff is and the fact of, you know, how easy this is to build into this deck. I mean, it's a five card dedication with the Lori in the main deck. And of course, your extra deck, I mean, you have the Goddess. Uh, you have the Sequita, the Requiem, and you have the Lacrimosa in here. Isn't that stupid? That that's all that you need to tuck on into this deck and have everything just kind of play out for you. Also, the OCG does get the chance to play a Pointer of the Red Lotus, which... <sighs> so many things that you can do because of this deck. You know, just because Wanted's a one doesn't mean, you know, having a full Fiendsmith combo set here on the side so you can do your thing. Congratulations on getting the top eight finish. I think that this deck will be very scary once it comes to the TCG, but we do need Snake Eyes Ash actually cleaned up. I, I think that this card is... Actually, it's this card that does everything. But some sort of combination of cleanup method to this deck I think will allow the meta... A little bit more tolerable of a chance to see what we can do well that is everything that we have so much going on right now in the course of the meta and you know I'm looking forward to seeing how things will continue to go but 
for now, this is this is just how things are. So please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and remember, everybody needs a hero. You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.